Hello everybody, so today I'm going to teach you how to get any character you want who has blend shapes in their face and rig it to the MetaHuman control board so you can use MetaHuman animator on your character so you can use an iPhone 12 and up to make animator animation so you can move thong and all that good stuff so let's get right into it so I'm here in Blender and I rigged him the Blender dog in Autorig Pro, just so we have something to show it off. And I did some blend shapes in his face, so just some blinking, mouth open, and here in the teeth too. So we export the head split, like teeth, tongue, and eyes, because this will be controlled by the face board, so they have to be together. But you can just put the their blend shapes separately, and you can see that they have a naming convention so the end of the name it's actually matching this list of metahuman animator if your character has these curves it can be animated in metahuman animator so you take the name of the blend shape let's say brown down l there's this one so brown down l and you put a prefix that it's ctrl expressions underline and the name of the blend shape so I exported his head and his body. The, again, the head is the head, eyes, teeth, tongue, everything that it's controlled by the face board. And y you must be asking, why do we need CTRL expression? So I downloaded the MetaHuman here. I I'm messing up with MetaHumans a lot. So you come up to the MetaHumans folder, common, face, and you copy the face control board control rig so then you go into your folder paste it there i will name face item control rig right and then we're going to open it so here with the rig if we go into find results and we type in jaw open you will see that, oh, this is showing the extreme. It doesn't have an underline. Like, yeah, the left one is good enough. So you will see that the CTRL expression is the prefix that connects with the board. So just put this naming convention with CTRL on the prefix and you will be good to go. So let's make the the trans the transferring right it's, it's not actually a transfer we're just adapting to the name commission so you will open the rig and delete the metahuman skeleton from here so just delete i'll do it live so you can see everything i'm clicking just to be sure so right click in this window the rig hierarchy import and you import his little head right because it's split so you can see that the skeleton here and it's but but because oh, it has that one so i think we also right click the head uh, right click refresh and select the head too okay so after importing it and refreshing again you import and then you refresh now we have the 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 rig here so we will re hit compile and a little errors will show up here so we're gonna go in here this this is yes this one that it's the bluish one right in the middle so you come up here and you see that it requires a head name this is the head bone so click type in head and say hey this is the head bone you can see that it already popped up and this is some eyes because th there are also some controls that are controlled by eye aiming right that that rig that comes in front but we're going to jump that because i didn't try to make it work yet in here is different because i was trying to add blend shapes and yeah but i can make another video on that how to add custom blend shapes to stock matter humans so you can open the teeth the way you want or whatever 
Okay, I'm going to have that. I think this one is head too. Yeah, this one is head too. I'm ha I have the head selected here. Some of them will still stay with error, but yeah, we're going to mess up with the head ones. Just to be sure. Okay, let's see here. But this is I aim. Not not going to mess with it right now. And here in the blue, if your character has a too big of a head, you can just change this value and this add to offset the face board. And then we hit compile. And yes, we're still going to have some errors in the in here, but it doesn't matter. We just want to use the, the rig. So we'll open the sequencer. And I made a blueprint with the character, put in his body, his head. For his body, I just made a quick modular rig. I, I, I don't know how to use this yet, but yeah, it, it kind of work. So yes. And then you go into the body, animation, you have here the body rig, right? And then you go into the head and you type in animation and we need to set up the face we just edit and then you save okay so drag the blueprint blueprint to sequencer and then we click here and oh 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 it's drama no it's not it's working see and then you say oh and what about animator yeah so I have this animation that it's from an animator. It's baked to the head. And what you're going to do, just make a copy, put it in your folder, and right click and replace skeleton. And then you select your character skeleton. Save. And then you delete here. I, I deleted both because whatever. And then you put in face and in. And is it going to move? And then to edit is just normal workflow. Come here, back to face autumn rig. Great. Give it its time, you know, all that good stuff. And here you will have it ready to rock. See the controls moving. Let me hit a play. See? You just need to fill the the blend shapes because if you see here they're all moving the eyes the mouth yes and then if you want to animate him you just take your custom control rig where is the control rig oh no it's not the face i need to select the autumn rig there it is and it's not working. Oh, rigor God. Oh, yeah. Oh, but there it is. Yes. I, I just messed up in the modular one. And from here, you can do whatever you want. Like quadruplets, monsters, whatever. Th that's how you plug it. Have a nice day. Make some pretty characters. Good animation. See ya.